Welcome to the rocket profile of Cyclone 3, the converted ICBM with lots of 3s. Cyclone 3 and its predecessor Cyclone 2 were based on the R-36 Intercontinental Ballistic Missile and as such used the storable hypergolic propellants unsymmetric dimethylhydrazine, or UDMH, and nitrogen tetroxide in all stages. While Cyclone 2 had two stages, Cyclone 3 added a third stage which resulted in increased payload capacity. While the rocket's name is commonly spelled T-S-Y-K-L-O-N, or sometimes with an I instead of a Y, as you can see, it often has the word Cyclone, the translation of the name, in Latin rather than Cyrillic script on the side of the rocket. Its first stage has six main chambers at the bottom, but these are actually three RD-250PM engines, each with two nozzles. The combination of the three engines is in turn considered an RD-261 module. Whether you think of the stage as having six chambers of three engines, either way it's a unique stage. It is complemented by a set of four vernier thrusters which handle the maneuvering, similar to on a Soyuz rocket. Each of the three RD-250PM engines provides 881.7 kilonewtons in vacuum for a total thrust of around 2,645 kilonewtons. They operate at an efficiency of 301.4 seconds vacuum specific impulse. Burn time for the stage is around 2 minutes and 8 seconds. The second stage is just one of the first stage engines with vacuum nozzles on the two main chambers. This unit is called an RD-262, but it has an unusual feature, a third nozzle. Now, the engines at the bottom of the rocket technically had a small generator exhaust, but this third nozzle on the second stage is nearly the size of the main nozzles and much larger than the generator nozzles on other rockets. It's almost as if the designers felt bad that the second stage should have had three nozzles and squeezed in the largest extra nozzle they could within the diameter. The stage once again has four verniers and the main engine doesn't gimbal. The RD-262 gets a little more thrust than the first stage thanks to its vacuum optimization, 941.4 kN with 318 seconds of ISP in vacuum. It can burn for 2 minutes and 40 seconds, but it ignites the verniers before first stage separation, so they burn for a bit longer than the main engine. Finally, there's the third stage with its RD-861 engine, and once again, four verniers. It is capable of a single reignition, which is necessary for one of the rocket's main purposes, to place satellites in sun-synchronous orbits. Cyclone 3 launched from Placetsk into polar orbits. The stage boasted 78.7 kN of thrust with an ISP of 317 seconds for 2 minutes and 6 seconds, give or take a few seconds on the verniers. Cyclone 3 launched 122 times from 1977 to 2009 and failed 8 of those times for a success rate of 93.4%. Its predecessor, Cyclone 2, had one of the all-time best records, just one failure in 106 launches for better than 99% reliability. Both launchers were retired because they were built in Ukraine, and the primary customer for them, Russia, wanted to replace them with the Russian-built Angara-1, which still hasn't entered operational use. Meanwhile, Ukraine had plans to improve on the design with Cyclone 4 and offer it on the commercial market, but nothing has come of these plans. Thank you for watching the rocket profile of Cyclone 3.